Understanding Global Zero, a deep dive into its meaning. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing phrase, Global Zero. This term might sound a bit technical, but it's quite relevant in today's world. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just curious about global issues, this video is perfect for you. Let's dive in and unravel the meaning of global zero together. First, let's break down the phrase. Global refers to something worldwide, affecting or involving the entire world. Zero generally means nothing or the absence of something. So, when combined, global zero suggests the idea of reducing something to nothing globally. But what exactly is being reduced? That's where the context comes in. 2.1. Nuclear disarmament. One of the most common uses of global zero is in the context of nuclear disarmament. It's a political movement aiming for the elimination of all nuclear weapons worldwide. When people use global zero in this context, they are talking about a world completely free from nuclear arms. 2.2. Climate change and carbon emissions. Another important context is environmental, particularly in discussions about climate change. Here, global zero refers to the reduction of carbon emissions to zero globally. The goal is to achieve a balance between the amount of carbon emitted and the amount removed from the atmosphere leading to net zero carbon emissions. Understanding global zero is crucial because it represents significant global goals. In the case of nuclear disarmament, it's about global peace and security. Regarding climate change, it's about protecting our planet and ensuring sustainable living conditions. By striving for global zero in these areas, we aim for a safer, healthier, and more secure world. Achieving global zero, whether in nuclear disarmament or environmental sustainability, is challenging. It requires international cooperation, stringent policies, technological advancements, and a shift in public consciousness. These challenges make the phrase not just an objective but also a call to action for global communities. I hope this video has shed light on the meaning and significance of global zero. It's more than just a phrase, it represents a collective aspiration for a better world. Whether you're learning English or just interested in global issues, understanding terms like these is crucial. Thanks for watching and keep exploring the nuances of the English language and global issues.